there does seem to be a split in one world uh actually goes into total chaos and uh you know takes its downward spiral to the to the end result you know which is complete collapse and another world goes on and takes the upward spiral into living in harmony with each other and and uh the earth and you know we're seeing that right now you know unfortunately there are there are people that just are not uh uh you know hanging on too well but uh you know with this these new energies and you know it's a good thing to know too is <clears throat> there's a lot of people checking out too and deciding they just don't want to be here uh you know through these changes which you know I don't rightly blame them but uh anyway I think we've got uh, Dr. Brooks Agnew on the line here uh Brooks are yes, you Hello uh, James Oh, great. Great to get you on the show. Well, it's good to be here. I've just uh, been traveling across the country with a load of electric cars for the, the plant in Kentucky. Great. Uh, so so do you have me on the list there for one of those? Uh, yeah, you're uh, in alphabetical order. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I want to get my uh, tractor converted over to an electric vehicle. Is that possible? Sure, that's easy enough. Or I could just do biodiesel. Biodiesel yeah. is good too. Non-polluting, totally renewable. Yeah, I know you have your hands in so many pies. You have the electric cars going, and you've got the biodiesel plants, and uh, boy, there's so many different <laughs> things you're involved in. But you know, tonight I really wanted to talk to you about uh, one of the presentations you did here, actually at the East City Ranch, where you talked about the. Uh, uh, the evidence and the uh, archaeological ex- evidence as well that kind of shows the Earth is going to go through a shift and there would actually be uh, two Earths in the future. Yeah, actually, uh, there were two Earths in the distant past, one of a higher energy and one uh, of, a, of a lower, more temporal energy, and they merged together, uh, I believe, in the book, uh, the chapter uh, uh, called The Union of the Polarity, we talked about this process ending with the, uh, with the flood of Noah. This was actually the completion of the consolidation of two worlds, one upon which Noah and his uh, family lived and one upon uh, which another, what was called Lower Adam, existed. And what we see in, well, in the paleological record is a very sudden and broad change in the DNA, the, the genetic dynamics of the planet, both plants, animals, and humans. Um, and um, and the other thing is that, is that we see two different ages of of uh, geology on the planet. We see one that's about 4.5 billion years old, and one that appears to be just a very few million years old. And uh, geologists really don't know what to make of this, but if they would just read the Ark of Millions of Years series, they'd know exactly what to make of it. Uh, and it seems that as we near 2012, that these two Earths, which right now are in, in some uh, uh, stage of harmony, are going to go out of phase with one another, and they're going to come apart. Now, the mm-hmm. interesting thing about it, and is you, you picked up on it exactly, in fact, you picked up on it about 10 years before we began writing about it, mm-hmm. uh, is that as these two Earths come apart, two different levels or, or, or awarenesses of consciousnesses are going to separate with those worlds. Lower conscious will go with the lower world, and higher conscious will go with the higher world. They will just become unaware of each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that, you know, it ties into a lot of the old, uh, even the biblical prophecies, uh, a lot of the old prophecies where they talk about where one person will be standing and another one will disappear. And, and uh, you know, they talk about uh, people just vanishing. And I know it's coming through the web bots, too. They said there's this event where all these people just disappear and they don't have any rational reason for it. It's just one minute they're there and then they're gone, so... Uh, well, well it, it actually goes way back before biblical times, maybe a, mm-hmm. a hundred or two hundred thousand years before biblical times. But you know, it's it's much more profound than just two people standing in a field and disappearing. We are actually those of us, you know, that are awake and aware and are absolutely uh, observing the world as it's evolving. 
we're seeing multiple timelines overlapping each other right now. There, there are mm-hmm. aspects of our own world's past, even our own lives past, that are overlapping right now, and we cannot clearly distinguish which one is our own personal past <laughs> and which one is a past from a different lifetime. That's how confusing the energies are getting right now. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that because I've been, I've been seeing that, and I've been stepping back and forth between these other worlds and then healing the past and clearing things up as well. And sometimes I wake up in the morning after meditating, and I, and I have to really like ground myself to find out where I am again, you know, because they're you so remember real. Which timeline you're on, exactly? <laughs> yeah, I'm going. Wait a second, where am I? And then I remember a lot of stuff just fell off of this other program I was doing. Where'd it go? You know. Well, you know, here's a question for you, James. How many timelines is the E SETI Ranch on right now? <laughs> you know, being on a vortex right here, uh, it's. I'm just seeing right now. Uh, there are there are so many different things going on. I don't even know where to start, and so many other dimensions available to access here. That uh, you know, it's it's getting really hard to uh, place your identity anywhere for me anyway, because I'm just. I'm just like letting go of everything and becoming the observer and watching it all unfold. You know, that's really exactly what we're supposed to do. We as humans, uh, we get so wrapped up in our own mortality, our own sovereignty as mortal beings, we, we almost begin to impose our reality upon, upon the energy around us. And, and the first thing that I found when I came to the East Seti Ranch way back in 2006, sounds like ancient history now, but it really isn't, mm-hmm. is I noticed that there was such a flow of energy there that when I stepped out of my mortal regimen, things opened up to me that I haven't noticed since I was 9 or 10 years old. And one of the most remarkable things, when, when I asked for a show of hands this last uh, July when I was at your place uh, speaking <clears throat> on uh, remembering the future, I asked how many people this was their first time. And, and you've been, you know, running that, that, uh, that event, that um, uh, Earth Transformation Conference for a number of years. I was amazed about 95% of the people raised their hands. James, that is so profound that hundreds and hundreds of new people found out about your sanctuary up there, and they came. That mm-hmm. is amazing. Yeah, I often wonder, like, where where were the people that came last time? <laughs> but uh, yeah. they're all like, affecting the universe. You've, yeah, you've I guess they figured it out, forever. got what they needed, and they're moving on with it. That's what happened to me when I ran into this stuff. Well, I think that's what's happening uh, to the uh, Earth. And as, as we near 2012 and these two Earths begin to go out of phase, you're going to see exactly what we noticed this last July at the East Eddy Ranch. And that is that all of a sudden there are hundreds of new faces which are enlightened and bright and open and they get it and they're full of love and they're explorers and it's an amazing transformation. Mm-hmm. And th- that is where it's going. It's amazing because what I found out is that, you know, there's as many worlds as there are people because everybody's creating their own reality down here and projecting that reality on everybody else. But at the same time, you know, there's there's I'm looking at this going, that's not my reality. <laughs> I don't want to participate in that reality. And, uh, you know, having to make some choices and who to interact with, what realities I want to entertain and where I want to go. And, you know, we don't have the luxury anymore of, of you know, wallowing in in all the other stuff, you know, the other dramas and everything else, because the energy is just coming in hot, way too hot and fast right now. Well, yeah, that's exactly right. People get locked into life going paycheck to paycheck or family vacation to family vacation or some people crisis to crisis. Mm-hmm. And then they're shown this window where all kinds of ascended masters, some physical and some not physical at the moment,